The model was produced in two versions, a common four-door sedan and a less common five-door station wagon station wagon. Car bodies of the first years of production are more susceptible to corrosion. Typical weak points are the sills, rear wing arches and the lower edges of the doors. Since 1989, all cars have been galvanized, and rust appears only in those places where the protective layer has been broken. The luggage compartment of Thema sedan is one of the largest among classmates of those years, the volume is 550 liters. So long. The interior of the car is quite comfortable, and on the back sofa it is spacious enough that three large men can easily fit there. A comfortable position behind the wheel allows a wide range of driver's seat settings and steering column height adjustment, provided on all versions. All launch of Thema are equipped with two information boards of technical condition monitoring systems, electric windows, electric exterior mirrors and central locking. Many have climate control or air conditioning. The weak point of cars manufactured before 1989 is the breakdown of plastic handles that allow you to shift the front seats in the longitudinal plane. This is due to corrosion and jamming of the drive cable. Engine. The range of launch of Thema engines is quite wide. However, there is a special unit in it. 8.32. These three numbers represent the exclusive and most powerful modification of Thema, equipped with an 8-cylinder 32-valve power unit from Ferrari with a volume of 2.9 liters, 205 horsepower. With timely maintenance before replacing the rings, Thema units are able to go at least 250,000 kilometers. You need to be careful when buying turbocharged versions, especially charged gasoline ones, since their engine life is less than that of conventional atmospheric ones, and the supercharger can even live out its last days. On cars with a mileage of over 200,000 kilometers, oil sometimes flows from under the gasket of the oil pan and the oil filter flange. For all engines, the temperature sensor and air flow meter fail over time, which leads to unstable engine operation and excessive fuel consumption. On all motors, except for the V8, you need to adjust the thermal clearances of the valves. The main disadvantage of all Thema is that over time, the contacts in the electrical wiring plugs are oxidized. Because of what various systems of the car are buggy, starting with broken bulbs and ending with an engine that may not start at all. Transmission. Most cars are equipped with 5-speed manual gearboxes. However, cars with the 2.0-liter 16V turbo engine were aggregated with the 6-speed mechanics. The most unpleasant breakdown during Thema operation can be the failure of the gearbox input shaft bearings. After a run of 300,000 kilometers, the drive shaft seals may leak due to wear on their seat. Although the problem is easily solved, the gland needs to be pressed a little deeper. It has been noticed that the gearbox works better and quieter with Silnia 80W90 branded oil. Suspension. Suspension launcher independent and moderately hard. A design feature is the need for regular diagnostics and adjustment of the toe of the front and rear wheels. Most often, in the front suspension, you have to change the stabilizer struts. They serve an average of 70,000 kilometers, but the bushings nurse up to 100,000 kilometers. The silent blocks of the rear trailing arms are also short-lived but the transverse ones change very rarely. Steering. The steering of all versions is equipped with the hydraulic booster and with the timely replacement of the fluid, there were no problems with this unit. When driving on our roads, as a rule, tie rod ends take care of 60,000 kilometers. Brake system. The Thema brakes are quite sharp thanks to the use of disc mechanisms on all wheels and ABS systems, which is found on many modifications. When buying a car, it is necessary to check the condition of the rubber brake hoses, the wear of the pads and brake discs. Another age-related disease is the development of a horseshoe, that is, a bracket that holds the pads, because of which they begin to squeak unpleasantly. The purchase of this car can be recommended to middle-aged people who are looking for an inexpensive, but large and comfortable car with a good stuffing.